All right, today we're putting boluses in. And Alyssa's gonna show us what we're doing. Yes, so this is the bolus. It reads temperature activity and rumination. Uh, what we're doing is we're assigning them to all the cows out there. So after it's activated, you can choose from your list of animals, whichever one you want. Assign it, give it the bolus. That's something. <laughs> gotcha. And this is my mom, she's the boss. She keeps us all in line. And then dad's been on here before. <laughs> last time. Yeah, yeah, very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He tells lies most of the time. <laughs> Here's the cows all waiting for them. We'll get a video of how one goes in. Use a nice little gun like this. I don't think I could get one in myself. Are you ready yet? You gotta take a video of me administering one because I don't want to oh. see the. I don't want the world to see you get your ass kicked by a cow. <laughs> well, we'll let you start, and I'll, and I'll show you how it's done again. Okay. Eighteen twenty-seven. Don't let her whoop you. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You want me to take again, Polly? Not yet. Okay. Yeah, he's just toying with her. Uh oh. Oh. Now we learn new words. Here it comes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, I can't see that because now they're gonna go like <laughs>
All right, we got all the milk cows done. So not working in the parlor anymore. We actually got headlocks to work with here. Getting the dry cows all their boluses. Just waiting for them to lock up. That's the close up pen. And then we got these. And then we gotta do all of our heifers yet too. Just breeding age and pregnant heifers. The younger heifers, they won't get it until they are needing one when they reach breeding age. All right, so we're in the barn, in the freestyle barn, where most of the milk cows are housed. They're just coming back from getting milk now. So that, their box, is the receiver for um, all the data that those boluses are collecting. I just had to wire in a uh, outlet there. I gotta get some wire staples and get that wire hung back up so that it's not uh, just dangling there for birds to, you know, run into or, you know. I'm not an electrician, but uh, I, I, I do decent at it, so I just go ahead with that. They were gonna run inspection, yeah. Sorry, they were gonna, going to run extension cords to an outlet that we have on the other side of that big overhead door. But I didn't want that many connections to have to worry about, you know, as time goes on and they corrode. So I figured we might as well just wire a plug in. in. So we just finished up doing that. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, it's got lights on both the plug-in and the box itself. So that's a, that's kind of nice to actually know that you got power at your outlet and if uh, you got power at the box because, uh, well, I guess that can help with troubleshooting if the box goes, goes haywire and um, we still got power coming from the plug-in, I guess we'll know pretty quick. So that's a pretty nice feature. I'm really excited to get this system up and running they said it'll take about a week week and a half before we start seeing um a lot of data collected because it's got to kind of formulate a baseline for that specific cow and uh see what her normal temperatures are her normal rumen activity and then it'll uh kind of go off of that and it'll let us know when a cow isn't feeling the best it'll let us know when she's about to calve uh, they said 15 hours before calving is about what it'll do so that'll be a nice feature and then rumination and uh, activity activity meaning are they in heat or not um, we try to breed our cows with as few hormones as possible, just because they're expensive. Nothing wrong with them. They're just expensive. So this system's also, you know, a chunk of change, but um, if we can eliminate most hormone costs and, uh, you know, have a health score or you know, be able to see the health of the cow, you know, should, uh, should really help us improve um so one other thing i gotta do yet is i gotta go down to our main electrical panel and check out whether or not the um, stray voltage indicator light is on we went through stray voltage a few years ago uh, we determined that we kind of always had it because our farm was wired on a three wire system and it's supposed to be a four wire system so grounds and neutrals were tied together and you're not supposed to do that. So we're getting current back feeding on the neutral and that was giving the cows a couple volts in the waterers and uh, anything metal. And uh, you might look at this beast and say, well, if you can't feel it, how can she? Cows are more sensitive to electricity than humans are. Um, so it affects them before we would ever be affected uh, we had a lot of 
um, poor production cows and cows that were just falling apart, which especially for the breed of cow that we have is kind of odd because um, like these are, are uh, kind of sold on the baseline of being a very strong cow. Um, they're built for grazing the mountains of Germany and Austria. Now we don't have mountains over here and we don't do a whole lot of grazing with them, but in a freestyle setting, they, they do very well for us. So we've had our Smax Tech system running for about 10 days now, so we're starting to get more information from it. So Catherine's gonna show us on her phone what all it shows us. So it has cows that are getting close to dry off. It has cows that we should check for pregnancy, cows that are going to calf or calving, and then health alerts. So that would be like if someone's not eating as much, drinking as much as a temperature. And then this is my favorite, the insemination one. So this tells us what cows are in heat. And then this little bar area shows us when we should breed them. So the light green is like the prime time. The darker green is like a good time. The yellow is you're getting iffy. And then after the red is when you probably closed your window to breed them. So we, ins we just went and bred all these cows. So we click on here and then you can add the insemination. And we did it at about 10.40. And then we're gonna go out, hold on. And then you just do that for all of them. But we wanna look at health. These are all the animals that have health notifications. So this one says that she had a fever. So we can go in here and look. Usually it has a little bar that shows us when her fever was, so she's probably not the best to show, but this, this is a cow that is getting close to calving, so that's what this little pacifier is showing us. This is a rumination decrease, so that shows us that her, she wasn't eating as much down here. Yeah, these just tell us all the different things about cows we should go look at. These are the ones that are close to calving so it tells us how many days until she's in a calf and then shows us this little bar of like how likely she is to be calving. Are you loving the Smax Tech? So far yeah. It's been showing us a lot of things that we wouldn't see by ourselves which has been really nice. And I think the information is just going to get better and better from it as we have it in longer. It just We're just now getting to the point where it's giving us a lot of information because it's been in the cows long enough where it's establishing their baseline, what's normal for them, and then it can detect the differences and let us know. So, so far it's saying, or it's doing everything that uh, the reps told us it would do. So pretty happy with it. And it makes our been making our lives a lot easier, especially on the breeding. Most of these cows that Catherine has been breeding lately, and my dad, uh, they haven't even seen them riding. They tag team the breeding, not at the same time. But it tells you when they start. <laughs> uh, they start their extra cycle, and you usually it has been uh, like one forty in the morning or. 250 so like times and no one's out and we wouldn't know because we wouldn't be we're you know nobody's out there watching after one o'clock in the morning for yeah been very good so far and hopefully it'll just get better